Woohoo! Okay, I gotta stop saying woohoo. <laughs> <laughs> so we're on our way to go and see Matt Thompson. It looks like there's no snow. Well, there's a very little snow here compared to home. And it'll be the first time I get to use the Equinox 800. I'm so excited to actually try this machine. It's going to be my very, very first experience. So I'm um, looking forward to today. It's quite exciting. Here we go. We got Matt and Noah. Oh, it's, it's soft. I'm gonna listen to the target. Eric says he has one something that sounds really good. I'm gonna listen to yeah. it. What is it coming up on? Uh, You're running 25. it at what? I'm running it on field two, and it's coming up as uh, between 26 and 29. A very nice okay. higher little okay. sound that I've been hearing. Let's hear what that, the MXT has. 72, 70, 71. And, uh, let's see what it is. Oh, silver! Oh. It is silver! It's, it's silver! Silver! Matt! Silver! Not <laughs> silver. <laughs> it's, yeah, silver yeah. Uh, Look. Right there. Oh! Like dime size? Yeah. It's got a uh, the grooves on the side of it. Yeah. It's dime size. What is it? Oh, George. George. It's a George. It's a George. It's a silver. It's yeah, so <laughs> my first silver coin of the year. First coin of the year, silver. First coin. Nice, it's Yay! silver. Silver, silver. <laughs> it was nice yeah. just to see that little shiny rim in the hole. Yeah. Okay, <laughs> so um, this one was coming up really kind of solid. I've been finding some nails on the surface that were coming up as 17, 18, but it had a very different signal. And right now, solid, 17. Solid, solid. It sounds so nice. It's right there. I got caught. Oh, Eric just yelled out. Oh, just wait. Oh, it's a button, a flat button. I got a flat button. Okay, wait, no, Eric's freaking out. It has to be better than my flat button right now. Let's go check it out. But I got a flat button. That sounded sweet. It sounded different. Are you kidding? Okay. Oh, big copper! Big copper! Big, big oh, copper! Look at the size of that big. thing! Is that a one penny? Oh, yeah. That's a big one penny token. Oh, look at the size of that guy. Oh, oh it's a my coin. Oh, gosh, it's gorgeous. Oh, uh, I don't know what it is. <laughs> you not, definitely want to see what it I'm is. Not eh? wetting them anymore. Like, this is my uh, my button. It's oh, all nice. muddy there. You can't see it, but it, I think it has a shank on it. Yeah. And that's what I just 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 found. Okay. You want me to put it in my hand? Look at that. Can't get any detail off that, but well. That's a big coin, eh? Look at that. Oh yeah. Oh. Looks even bigger in my hand, eh? Yeah. <laughs> That's a huge copper, baby. Yeah. Good start. You betcha. And I got oh, myself yeah. a button. I'm happy with my button. My first relic with the Equinox. I guess we'll find out later what this is, but uh, I'm super excited about it. Yeah, <laughs> that's your two first finds. Yeah, we've been here for like 30, 40 minutes. 30, well, maybe, yeah, 20 minutes it feels like to 20 me. 20 minutes it feels like, but yeah. Okay, I'm, I have to go back. Thanks for- Could be, uh, Hold on, hold on. Hey guys, so I did clean it off um, a little bit more. I don't know if you can see this, but it's a uh, it's an Upper Canada one penny token, 1854, the Dragon Slayer. I haven't found one of these in a long time. Okay, I had a little target here, and it's a. Uh, a really small, small flat button. No detail. The shank's still on there. It's a bet shank, but it's still on there. That's small. We got Maddie flying his kite.
Did you have fun? Was that fun metal detecting? Yeah? Are you gonna come with us again? You got it, dude. You got it, dude. <laughs> So uh, we just finished at the farm field, uh, we're there for a few hours, we're on the way to go and bring Noah back, we ate our lunch on the way, and now we're going to go to site two. But I just want to let you guys know, so my very first initial outing, yeah, I'm smiling! That was so easy to use, and it was so simple to use, and I found a flat button, and I can hear the nulling of the iron, so I can hear everything. So by using discrimination, and I'm not discriminating, I love it, if that makes any sense. But, no, my first initial hunt with it, I'm not frustrated at all. I find it very simple and easy, and it's really great. So we're actually going to go to a park type setting. So I'm going to play around and maybe try another setting, and we'll try it out at a park. So I'm really excited, and it's going really well. And Eric, holy jumping, Eric, you killed it. What? I was lucky. I found a silver dime and uh, it, it, it's a big uh, one penny token there. They were on the edge. Okay, so I had gotten another solid tone. It was coming up as uh, 1920. So I think it's a penny. I'm trying to wipe it, but it looks a little different. It might be a really corroded new one. I wish. I can make something out. It's so mucky. Yeah, I could see some pitting. It's probably definitely one of those newer coins. I wish I could get... Because if that's the case, I think it was... Uh... I'm not sure if it was Gafflebad that was asking about the newer coins. Yeah, that's definitely one of the newer clad pennies. I'm sure of it. It just looks so different. But it was solid. <laughs> the kite flew, fell in front of me. What a 50s penny, 90s, I think another 50s penny. Lots of beaver tail uh, pool tabs. Lots of beaver tail. My, my MX2 <laughs> loves beaver tail pool tabs. Oh, look at that. Oh! Quarter. And, oh, it's oh, it pretty looks silver. White, eh? That looks silver. That looks pretty white to me. That looks white. We'll see. <laughs> no, it's a 71. It's a 71? Yeah. It looks so white. Yeah, it's not shiny like silver, but it was just so light in color. Okay, so now that was Eric. I'm just going to go and see how Matt's doing. And maybe we'll ask him what he's thinking about his Equinox 800. Let's go check it. So what have you found so far here? Uh, 68 dime, a couple pennies and there's... So you found a 50% uh, silver. That's pretty cool. So you've used the CTX for how many years? Three or four. Three or four years? Yeah. Now going from the CTX to this machine? I forgot I was using an Equinox. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, it's, it's, there's almost no learning curve. Everything sounds the same. The tones sound the same. Uh, the only thing to get used to is the VDI. I mean, you're getting pull tabs and you're, you don't want to take like 15 signals, but you don't know, I don't know. Just try and figure out what they are, right, as you're using them. But yeah, for the most part, if you're going from a CTX to an Equinox or any mine lab, I guess. I mean, I'm going from the MX Sport to the Equinox and I'm finding it actually a very, very simple transition. But this one so far, I'm loving it. I'm calling stuff already. I, I could, I'm almost noticing a difference when it's on the, on the surface and when it's deeper. When it's on the surface, I think it's louder, right? It's a little louder than when it's deeper and stuff like that. So anyway, it says, Wavist, special quick dry waving liquid waving fluid what's waving fluid and it's called wave vest it's an old bottle yeah oh my gosh i almost have no battery oh my gosh i'm so sorry guys if i lose you um i'll update you guys but i'm noticing i'm really low on battery so i'll hurry up and make these short clips it's like a small hoe cute Something handle there yeah look. 
bottle it. <gasps> but the tip is oh, broken off. Bad. Nice tiny little I medicine know. bottle or something. Just, just, just found it, yeah. Wow. What is it? Oh, that's so pretty. I think it's silver. It looks like the silver. The inside I don't think is silver, but it... it yeah, the face on it's it on looks a pendulum. like silver. Oh, it has two pieces. It's light yeah. open. It's all tarnished. Like a so. locket or something. I'm sure it's silver. Thing on it, but... Yeah, that's cool. cool. That's awesome. Yeah. Well, Matt just got a thimble. It rang up real good. And what does it say on the side of it? England. England. Nice. Yeah, Love thimbles. Yeah. Oh, hi, babe. Ah, hi. So? So? Did you have fun? Ah, I love the machine. I have had a great time. Really yeah. happy and smiling, and I found a button, and uh, lots of bottle caps, and lots of foil, <laughs> and lots of other stuff, but it was it was a great experience. Yeah. yeah. Good. And Matt, you liked your... Uh... Oh, yeah. It's, it's, it's great. Broke it in today. Got some copper, some silver. Yeah. I cool. love that. <laughs> so, a little uh, tailgate roundup here. Look at this, uh, what Matt found here. It's really, it's really nice. Just barely makes it. Oh, it's a 68, 50%, I guess, right? Yeah, 50%. Yeah. And the thimble. It's again, those are plated at one time. Yeah. Inside, so shiny. Those are nice to find. And uh, we got this big 1854 Upper Canada. One penny token, and there's two silver dimes, a 65, and a. Uh, I think the other one's a 40, 46, maybe I'm not sure. Waving fluid. Yeah, waving fluid, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I thought it was waxing, but it's not waxing. Wave set. Oh, wonder if it was for the hair. <laughs> Thanks for watching. You got it, dude. You got it, dude. <laughs>